Hello everyone, this is Teacher Jinjin T. Gandesa. Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-solve ng quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Kung gusto nyo ng maraming examples, just keep on watching. Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. May apat na method sa pag-solve ng quadratic equations. First is by extracting the square roots. Second is by factoring. Third is by completing the square. At ang pang-apat ay by using the quadratic formula. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung tatlong method, ilalagay ko dito sa taas. I-insert ko na lang dito sa card para mapanood ninyo yung tatlong method. Example number 1. Solve 2x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So first, tingnan nyo muna kung naka-standard form na. Kung hindi pa, i-transform nyo muna siya sa standard form. Second, i-identify ninyo yung values ng a, b, and c. So a, b, and c. Sa pag-identify ng values ng a, tingnan ninyo yung numerical coefficient ng quadratic term, which is positive 2. Yung value ng b ay yung nasa linear term, which is negative 1. Kapag wala kayong nakikitang numerical coefficient, automatically, 1 ang numerical coefficient nun. Tapos, dito merong negative, kaya naging negative 1 yung b. Then, ang c naman ay yung constant term. Then, ang, ang constant term dito ay negative 1. Next step is, substitute natin yung mga values ng a, b, and c sa quadratic formula. So, meron tayong x is equal to negative b. So, negative. b is negative 1 plus minus square root of b squared. So, negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 2 times c is negative 1. All over 2 times a is a is 2. Okay, next, simplify natin. x is equal to negative times negative is equal to positive plus minus the square root of negative 1 squared, meaning negative 1 times negative 1. So, that is positive 1. Minus 4 times 2 is equal to 8 times negative 1 is equal to negative 8. All over, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Next, x is equal to 1 plus minus the square root of 1 minus negative 8 is equal to 9. Kasi ito magiging 1. Mag-change ito ng sign kasi negative and negative plus 8. So, 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. All over, 4. Next is x is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 9 is equal to 3 all over 4. Ngayon, mayroon tayong dalawang solutions. Kunin muna natin yung positive. So, x is equal to 1 plus 3 all over 4. Then, yung negative naman, x is equal to 1 minus 3 all over 4. So, 1 plus 4 3 is equal to 4 over 4. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. So, ito na yung sol isang solution. Next is, 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2 all over 4. Reduce to lowest term, x is equal to negative 1 half. So, ang solution ng quadratic equation na to ay 1 and negative 1 half. Another example natin, number 2. Solve for x in 3x plus 18 is equal to x squared. 
So, first is, tingnan nyo kung naka-standard form. Sa case na to, hindi siya naka-standard form. So, i-transform natin siya sa standard form. So, ang makukuha natin dyan ay ilipat natin yung x squared sa kabila. Mag-change ng sign, magiging negative x squared plus 3x plus 18 is equal to 0. Second is to identify the values of a, b, and c. So, ang value ng a dito ay negative 1. Ang value ng b ay 3. Ang value ng c is 18. Then, substitute the values into the quadratic formula. So, x is equal to negative b is 3 plus minus the square root of b squared is 3 squared minus 4 times negative 1 kasi yun yung a times c which is 18 all over 2 times a is negative 1 next simplify x is equal to negative 3 plus minus the square root of ito 3 times 3 is equal to 9 Pwede nyo namang idiretso ito. Negative 4 times negative 1 is equal to positive 4. Times 18 is equal to positive 72. All over, 2 times negative 1 is equal to negative 2. Next, x is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of 9 plus 72 is equal to 81. All over, negative 2. Now, x is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of 8, 81 is 9 all over negative 2. Then, solve for x. So, meron tayong dalawang values for x. Kunin muna natin yung uh, plus. So, x is equal to negative 3 plus 9 over negative 2. Then, yung negative naman. x is equal to negative 3 minus 9 over negative 2. Then, isolve natin. Negative 3 plus 9 is equal to 6 over negative 2. 6 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 3. So, ito yung isang solution natin. Next, negative 3 minus 9 is equal to negative 12 over negative 2. Negative 12 divided by negative 2 is equal to positive 6. So, ang solution ng quadratic equation na to ay negative 3 and positive 6. Another example natin is solve for x in 6x squared is equal to negative x plus 1. Kung napapansin natin, hindi siya naka-standard form. So, ilipat natin yung negative x plus 1 sa kabila. Mag-change siya ng sign using the addition property of equality. So, ang magiging form na niyan ay 6x squared. Ililipat natin yung negative x magiging positive x yung positive 1 magiging negative 1 is equal to 0 then identify the values of a, b, and c so a is equal to 6 b is equal to 1 kasi ang numerical coefficient ng variable na to ay positive 1 then c is equal to negative 1 next, substitute natin yung values of a, b, and c sa quadratic formula so ang makukuha is x is equal to negative b, b is 1, plus minus square root of b squared, which is 1 squared, minus 4, times a, a is 6, times c is negative 1. Next is 2 times a is 6, so simplify x is equal to negative 1 plus minus the square root of 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Then, pwede nyo namang idiretso. Negative 4 times 6 is equal to negative 24 times neg negative 1 is equal to positive 24. All over, 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Next, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus 1 plus 24 is equal to 25. So, the square root of 25 all over 12. So, magiging x is equal to negative 1 plus minus the square root of 25 is equal to 5 all over 12. Now, solve for the values of x. Meron tayong dalawang values for x which is 
x is equal to negative 1, take the positive 5 plus 5 is equal to 12. Next, negative 1 plus 5 is equal to positive 4 over 12 is equal to 4 by 12 reduced to lowest term magiging 1 third. Next, yung negative 5 naman. x is equal to negative 1 minus 5 over 12 is equal to negative 1 minus 5 is equal to negative 6 over 12. Negative 6 over 12 is is equal to negative 1 half. So, the solution of the quadratic equation is 1 third and negative 1 half. So, yun lamang mga nakshis. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video na ito. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan or clarifications, just comment down below. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, subscribe, at share nyo na rin sa mga kaibigan ninyo. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!